Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 CCL season 45 match between Veli Hoppia and his High Elves and Crucifer and his Chofs. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hi everybody. And, uh, back. Pray for Veli Hoppia here. <laughs> Yes. The, 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 the riot helps Evelope a lot because it gives uh, Crucifer one turn less to do stuff. Yeah. But 400 TV difference. <laughs> and it's 1600 versus 2000. So those 400 TV difference is much, much horrible for the elves. It, it, it was, you know, 2000 versus 2400 or something like that because at least the elves will have. Jesus Christ Almighty. A uh, developed team. Yep. Um, but here the elves have the basic, the high elves has the basic stuff, good stuff, but nothing spectacular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've got Eldrill, they've got a wizard, and they've got two babes uh, because they are like 400 TV down. But yeah, they've, they've, they've got some blodge. It's like. It's a nightmare against this big team. I think I feel like if you've got elves against a big team like this, you need like a stat monster, in that, don't you? And, like Rick had his edge five against me. That bit. Uh, yes. Alma's got an edge five. If you if you've got like you know a strength four or an edge five, then you've at least got something that can give you something. But just having a generic team like this, it's TV efficient. But when you're up against a big team like this, it just feels absolutely terrible. Well, Bear doesn't have mighty blow, doesn't have a guard. So the question here is when you know he gets the. The only way break the cage to bolt the ball carrier and hope for a good uh, scatter. Yeah, and it's the the four stand firm just making a nightmare as well. It's 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 so horrible for him, and exactly Skuro here. <laughs> I like that going for the going for the kick. Is he going to some, do some GFIs now? Yeah, yeah. I think that was the right two to show this up because you can't hit from that angle, right? So. He could only hit from there, and not even well, so he had to cover that. So well done, Cruz. And now, Fairly just has to stand there like an idiot, trading <laughs> rookie blitzers for claw palm blitzers. <laughs> yes, that's that's. I mean, he has uh, the hypnotic gaze, but not to use it now. He needs to keep that player behind, hidden, until he's needed. Yeah. Yeah, he could just run away. He genuinely could just run away. That might be an idea. That literally might be an idea. Just run away, use the wizard to score in your drive, and then uh, and then hope for a hope to win the toss in overtime. That's not like that's not even a bad strategy, is it? That's probably that's probably the right play. That's literally probably the right way. Just yes. run away. Could be yes. God. Uh... Having dodge is going to be useful at all. <laughs> run away then, concede. No, not concede. Just run away, let them score, and then hope that you can, you know, either stall till turn eight on your drive or score and use the wizard to stop the 2-1 the grind. Yes, because the other option is trying to... I mean, if you're going to try to blitz a chore of every turn, that's a mistake. You need to target the hobgoblin. Yeah. But... <laughs> Crucifer is going, to, is going to protect the hobgoblins very well. Yep. So, yes, the second best plan is to stay five squares away from <laughs> yeah. any yeah. of the pieces there and say, look, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to do the DACA without the ball. Yeah, yeah, DACA both halves. And then hope you hope you carry it. I think that's, I think that's the, the way he wins this game, to be honest. Yeah, just hope there's enough elves left alive to score it all in overtime. I think that'd be yeah, because what's the other option? I wait for the what the skulls for a... Oh don't tell me that the ball carrier of Elihopea could be hit. <laughs> because he could Could. Yeah, he's gonna hit the, right. hit the backfield threat. It matters for the drive, Pedro, and like it matters getting out the, the sure hands and stuff in the dirty player, doesn't it? But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, targeting the hobgoblins to later use the wizard to get the ball or, I don't know, do something. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay, Pedro. No, I do I do think Dak at both halves would give him half a shot. But um you know, even then not much of one. It's certainly what I'll be doing if I have the honour of playing Chris this tournament. <laughs> Dark of both halves. Pray for the best. Nah, at least I would have the strength five to try and do something. But like, you know, that he's just got nothing. He's got no weapons. He's got absolutely no weapons. It's, it's horrendous. Of course, I mean, uh, can even okay someone, but <laughs> this is uh, Billy Hopea team is absolutely fantastic right now. This TV to play uh, on regular CCL. Yeah, yeah, it's very TV efficient. Very TV efficient. Very good. It's not even but... worth blitzing them though, is it? Like, that's the thing. It's just literally not even worth blitzing these guys. <laughs> <laughs> just running away. Yeah, gr very TV efficient. It's, it's just missing. It's just missing the the good players. The, the, yes, the, the the winning, the uh, cap winning players. Yeah. <laughs> the Spanish Spanish Pico. Ayo. <laughs> now that the I say there is around a ninety percent of that kick player getting a club on. <laughs> yeah, because I'm guessing that one, that one, that one will uh, dodge. Yep. And the side stepper has block, so less chances of getting the player down. Yeah. Depend. I mean, it it just depends on. Uh, it just depends what Cruz wants to do, isn't it? Oh, he's not getting pom now. Oh no, that that was him. Yeah, he's, I mean, probably he could. It depends how. It depends how. Depends what his assessment of the match equity is, um, because this is a better player to remove, isn't it? So like, it's the worst blitz, but it's the better player to remove. But I think he'll. I think he'll go for the highest percentage and like probably safest positional play. I think on. for a positional uh, control, it's better to remain on the middle. Yeah, I think this is the right blitz in, in all regards. Except just being pure greed to try and cast the other guy, and you know if 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 Chris thought he was that much of a favourite, he could, but I think he shouldn't because there is the wizard and Eldril still. So I think this is right, and obviously I knew Chris would go for this guy anyway because he wouldn't go for the greedy. But you know you could imagine some people who play Blood Bowl who would go for the greedy hit on on the Blood Stepper. On the Blood Stepper, thinking uh, but yeah, no, there is no need for that right now for Crucifer. And now this is the, the message that Billy Hopea could get, need to get across the table thanks to this dead player. He's like, don't get it, Paul. Yeah. You have the... <laughs> he has to bench the babes. His team hasn't suffered any damage. No need to force uh, anything. Yeah. Got one. <laughs> yeah, powerful extreme. <laughs> Not taking any chances, is he, against the wizard here, being very safe against the wiz. Which, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Veli can stay in the way and, like, you know, maybe just stop him advancing. You never know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Now another foul coming. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> the apple works. Oh god. Oh god, already two cars and two KOs. And that's basically over. Don't say it's over! <laughs> I'll ban yeah. anyone who says it all it's over. <laughs> god damn Dimi! Dimi, no, no, it's not over yet. <laughs> Don't say it's over, Dimi. <laughs> it isn't over! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh, oh god, this is horrible, this is horrible, oh god. <laughs> Bye now, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming, Billy. Bye now. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs>
<laughs> Christopher's just entered the end of the YouTube video. Do you yeah. know what it was? Like a... It was it was this square. We've we, okay. We've made four removals in in four turns, but it's this square that the ball's on. That means we've won this drive. <laughs> this is this is the moment when you check the viewers, uh, the views in a Pornhub video, where the views start to go down because people are done or have having regret. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a uh, really tough, really, really tough for Billy Hilbert and there is he's a very good coach. And he was in the chat before and uh, the game and yes, he had knowledge <laughs> how bad he was looking. Yeah, he's, he's won Chalice twice, hasn't he, I believe, Billy? Yes, yes, uh, twice. Uh, we we uh, don't talk about yes. one of them. We don't, we don't acknowledge one of them, though. <laughs> was the uh, one that the... Uh, the concede one. <laughs> yeah, he, he he won with Norse against uh, against my chops. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Oh, that was a great game to watch and deserve a uh, victory for the North. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, both with terrible teams. That's true. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, if he, I mean, he's already he's already rolled worse in the first four turns than he did in the entire in the entire match versus me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's not replicating that success. Yeah, um, Crucifer is not making the mistake of rolling bad. Yep, yep, that was a foolish mistake by me. Yeah, it was, it was kicks, and I lost the toss in overtime. So there was, uh, you know, it wasn't. The and best you didn't answer. do manage to do any damage to the North game yeah. in sixteen turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some would call it a, a comedy mega Dyson. But uh, you know, he obviously still did. He still did what he had to do to win, didn't he? So you know, it doesn't take anything away from him. And obviously, got a lot of luck at getting to that point as well. Like I, I went overtime a few times and won the toss in in those games. So it's fair enough. You need to be lucky to reach the final, and you need to be luckier to win the final. Yeah. Whoever says otherwise is lying. You need a little bit of luck. Yeah. Or a lot of bad luck for your opponent. <laughs> All right, gee, if I did. To get into there, that was pretty rowdy, wasn't it? That was pretty rowdy. <laughs> yeah, hold on, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it was rowdy, but the uh, Crucifer has three re rolls. Yeah, but if you double ones, if you double ones, if you double ones, you double ones Wizard, Eldril, you line. know, it was a bit, that, was, it, that was a bit risky, wasn't it? He could have moved these guys up first. You know? It was a bit, that was a bit dodgy. Could have the one in thirties, like you know, Valley's playing for one in thirty sixes, right? <laughs> That's pretty much, pretty much the only chance Valley's getting is one in thirty sixes, and there was a chance of one in thirty six without moving all this up first. So that was a bit, a bit. Could have been complicated, but I think uh, the Chors could have a uh, easy recover from the the situation. Was all the balls were free? It was dangerous, but calculate. Yeah, it was a bit. It was a, I mean, it was a. You know, like obviously he's 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 up four players, and it's like, um, you know, it just is what it is, isn't it? He's, uh, he's, the uh, problem with elderly and you know, the gays is that versus uh, Crucifer, you're going to use it once. <laughs> yeah. Because as soon. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think that was a bit. I think that was a bit lax by Cruz. Like yes, as soon uh, elderly stays next to a chorf, next time. It's yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get wrecked for sure. Seventy five percent knockdown, isn't it? Because he doesn't have block, and obviously they've all got tackled. So yeah, it's it's looking very bad for uh, for Eldrill. The turn he goes in, but he's just there for the one turn, isn't he? You know, like he's there for that one turn. Well, not the one turn. He's there for the one turn where he engages in wizards and. and yes, that's it. Was really. Yes, I, I knew someone would say that. Tomshin is the one turn where he goes in and uses the wizard. He's not there for the one turn. There is no one turn. <laughs> it, there would be. He would be there for the one turn in two in in two K twenty, right? In the current rules, he'd be there for the one turn because uh, what he could do in the current rules, he could hypno gaze a stand firm guy, and then that guy would not have stand firm anymore, and then he could he could use him to uh, push him around to get the one turn with one of the catches. So. He would actually be there for the one turn in 2K20 rules. Well, second season, whatever you call it. Blood Bowl 3, which no one's going to play. Then uh, he'd be actually great for the one turn. But, yes, the one turn where you go in is is where Eldril... Like, you know, he, he, the, the one turn he uses his gears is the only one turn you need him for. Was, was kind of like the point, right? 
obviously he might not work. And then he's he's fucked. <laughs> and you've failed and it's just horrible. He could have just fireballed there and like just hoped to get all three down and then gaze that guy and then go in. It was it was a it was a small chance, but like it's that bad he might as well have gone. Like I think he literally might as well have gone gone for that. Just hope for the twenty five percent of both knockdowns and then the sixty six percent of the gaze and then you get in and, and get the ball out and you've maybe just counter scored. Hard though, isn't it? Because the thing is, against bloody bulls, you can't even counter score. You know, like if it was dwarves, you you could you could niche away and you'd get the counter score. But bulls just chase you down anyway. It's it's absolutely horrible. Yes, is a very good. I think he will save the wizard for his own uh, drive, just in case he score. Yeah, I and think he's probably going to have to. I think he try to save it for uh, overtime. That will be the best result. Yeah. He doesn't need it until overtime. I think, I think if he hadn't, it. I think if he hadn't taken like the three removals super early, maybe he would have piled in early and tried to use it early. But with with losing so many men, I just think he's basically almost got no chance. Yeah, four players down. Chris is playing really safe, isn't he? I didn't like giving up the space to be honest because. Now, you know, the one, like, Chris was playing super safe against the Wiz, and the, but that meant he didn't get forward, and now, you know, the space has been ceded and he has got forward. And that was, like, the only thing going. Like, you know, he's, he is playing super safe against the Wiz, Chris. I guess he's played against Wizards more than probably anybody else. Chris <laughs> uh, has trained for GS versus Wizards. <laughs> Yeah. Up, up 350 TV, 727 games, and 82%. So yeah, he's he's pretty good when he's up a lot of TV. Again, he's made the jiffer, but this time he had the ball completely, completely and utterly safe. Everybody could think about the power fireball there. With a lot of players together. Yeah, really good quality players. Really good quality players. He has an outlet. His sure hands is there. He could, he could hit what three, four. Four, yeah, so you could hit these. You've got the gaze on this guy. You know, you've got a block there potentially. This is probably as good as as good as it's going to get for him uh, on defense. Doesn't go for it. This this could have been the wizard turn. I don't even think it's clickbait. I think it's the literal best chance he's going to get this drive. You know, well, like the only chance he's going to get this drive. I don't know if it's bait because it's, it's probably the best chance he's going to get. The fact that he's got to do uh, it fuck off. Actually, I'll distance the ball, right? No, well, he is just going in without the whiz. That is risky. That is pretty risque. <laughs> going in without the whiz. But yeah, I mean, the fact that he's been able to get the 1D on the ball shows that a whiz would have been all right, wouldn't it? Yes, Angus the Pau. Oh, that's the AV, bro. He's got the re recovery, but no re rolls. He could punt it. Boy, howdy! It's on! He's got to do it, it's hasn't on. he? He's yes, got to he do it. He has to pick up the ball and throw it as far as possible. Yeah. This could, this could be it. Holy moly. He's got the pick oh, up. He's got dodge. the dodge! Can he get the pass to about here? I don't know where it is, but I'd imagine there. 
Oh, I, would, that I think I got exactly the square. Right? square. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh god, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> no Beautiful passing chance. Beautiful play by Billy Hopea, <laughs> getting use of this uh, only chance. Yep, brilliant, brilliant play by Valley. Like I, I did think this was a bit weak, which is again why I would have gone for the. Like I, I thought the whiz was okay here, but I mean this was brilliant, wasn't it? Getting the getting the defense without the whiz is is amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, the the other counter score is is still low chances, but there's a chance. What happened was, Cruz, there you go, <laughs> Fimir is absolutely correct as well. <laughs> um, it was a lucky turn, but yeah, I mean, that it was a bit weak, like it was literally, it just, just Cruz yes, just left his formation a little uh, bit maybe weak. A little more to mm. avoid, the, I mean, at some point, something is going to, like that is going to be able to happen, you know. Mm. Yes, exactly. Eldril did what uh, he needed. That's uh, Eldril is a one play uh, star player. Which is he stupid, is right? Play. Because he, like, it, he shouldn't, because he's 75% to knock him down, and then it's like over 50 to break AV, isn't it? And then, like, yes. you know, about uh, one in three Eldrin. to chasm if you've got Mighty Blow on it. So he really shouldn't be cast every time, but he sure does feel like he is every time. <laughs> yes, it looks like that, you know, Eldril is a uh, course. Yeah. <laughs> he also had to full power the, the he had to full power the stand firm. That was the first thing. Yes, right? also it was to work. Uh, he needed a. And it might have cost him everything. <laughs> it might have cost him everything. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> He needed the the even against work, then get the Two the ball down the and a good scatter mm. because that was the best scatter that he could have got. Any other scatter was much harder. Yeah, yeah. That that's yeah. why I felt the whiz was a bit better, right? Because then if you've got the whiz, you've got the chance of like you can move in Eldril to assist. Like depending on how with well the whiz goes, El could go in to assist him, and then he could just gaze him right, and then you don't even need to hit that guy, and then you've got more to come. So like I didn't mind the whiz at all, um, but. This worked out very great, apart from him just losing the game this turn. <laughs> probably. <laughs> apart from him probably losing the game this turn, it was great. <laughs> yeah, as long as Chris doesn't score, like it might, it might, you know, it's it's won the battle, hasn't it? But it might have lost him the war. That's the thing. But yeah, it might have won him the game. It might have won him the game. Chris uh, going to run back with the ball. Oof. Ooh. That's an IG3 bull, so can go pick up the ball, make a pass, and then the hobo can make a handoff to someone else. Yeah, two bench because his apples worked. But the catcher can get down, and this guy can get down, and then this catcher can get down as well, maybe. So he's going to have some threat. I guess this catcher doesn't get doesn't get in range unfortunately so you get he gets you can get two people in range to do something Oh yeah, it was a great, it was a great play by Valley. I didn't even think of not using the wizard. I would have, I would have thought of using the wizard, you know, potentially, and but I didn't even think of not using it. And obviously, it's you had to get luckier, but uh, the payoff was that he kept, he keeps the wizard. I mean, he's got to re-roll that, hasn't he? Probably. I didn't like this because you look, you hope. Oh. Down. I would, have, I would have just gone for this dodge. Obviously, I would have failed it as well, but I would have gone for this dodge to get this guy in. In range. Also, yeah, he's just in range. He should have GFI'd, right? He should have yes. GFI'd because now he can just get pushed and he's not in range anymore. So you what? You punch him. 
and then uh, assist there and then blitz him and push him one and then you go for like the bull pick up pass oh this is this is the safer I, I would have gone for the greedy one but yeah he's gone for the safer play what a surprise Chris going for the safe play <laughs> Oh, that is alright there with two waves. Yep, so now he gets the assist then. Oh, he can, he can assist with a bull, can't he? Yeah, he can just blitz with a bull. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say this is better, isn't it? Because he's, he's at one, so he can't he can't give it to him, so he has to score with him. No reset, good enough. Right, who does he pass it to? Does he pass it to him then hand off? Probably. Yes, I think that's gonna be the play. So he just just passes from where he is. I think with 2GFI uh, it gets an easier pass. You no, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the yellow is the second band, so he's he just stays. Oh, unless he goes two and then goes direct to him. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. No, maybe not. No, this must have been this must have been right. I'll, I'll believe Cruz. Yeah, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that was right. I'll believe that Cruz has done the correct play. <laughs> He's not bad, is he? Making the bobble box. Good play. And so if he doesn't catch the ball, you know, it <laughs> bounce into him. Adds like a half a percent or whatever. And just a double G. Nah. And that's it. And that's it. GG, Valley. Very good play by Belly to send the ball away. Very good play of uh, Crucifer to recover and score. Yeah. He, he is very good. He plays very, very conservative as well. So he gets he gets less chances to fail stuff, you know. Like you know, if you compare him to somebody like Inarian. Inarian, you know, who's also good and won Chalice multiple times. Inarian just tries things more than Cruz. <laughs> so so Inarian will look luckier. And, uh, you know, but... And he will also look unluckier, right? Because he's, 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 yeah, he's given himself, yeah, he's given himself less chances to fail and everything, you know. Very conservative is Cruz. That's all he plays with Charles. Level up Charles is a very reliable team, you know, you... Not very worried about blocks or uh, something like that. So you can just play carefully. But when he needs to do crazy plays, I've seen a uh, Cruz doing it. You know, five oh, pluses yeah. without the uh, blinking. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he did. No, I'm, I'm, I know he didn't this season. T stacks. It was. Uh, it I was... think. Uh, Yes, I think Enarion didn't qualify this for this one. As they, I, in fact, he hasn't been playing for a while. But I think I read him on the on a chat the the other day that he was uh, coming back. Yeah, I think he he stopped playing for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what it was. But um... as a riot, let's remember that there was a riot on the first uh, half. Yeah. Yep. So Cruz have one turn less. Yeah, right, the only chance. And yes, now yes, now it's another riot. The only chance. Three stand firm, absolutely. Holy. Hello, machine, yeah. Impossible without Mr. Throw. Yeah, you can't do passes without Mr. Throw. That's uh, that's absolutely. You can't absolute make passes fact. with Mr. Throw either. <laughs> it's an absolute <laughs> fact. It's a, it's a well known fact that nobody can score a touchdown without a dedicated throw. You know, like that, that Bull Centaur pass that we all just saw, it's literally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good bar gave in the numbers at thirty percent to score for uh Cruz further, so it wasn't, you know, the whole play when it looks like Bliss, the bull carrying the ball, blah blah you like thirty percent thanks to the fact that he has a reroll. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe. 
the Dirtle would be right, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm sure he said why he, why he stopped playing. But I just can't remember. Yeah, I think he said that. Uh, and now going for max safety. Well, hey. <laughs> changing the charge for a uh, random Ooh. horse. Oh, what if what if this opens him up? He's got to put them over here, maybe, maybe because there's the catcher there, right? Imagine if Veli can just put in all the players and then like chain him forward. Like he just he won't have enough players. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven other players. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have enough players. But it'd be it would be mental if you could just like put in all the players and then get this guy and chain him. It'd be it'd be the best player if, ever. But if he's able. <laughs> To get the a uh, one turn doing this, it will be you know the actually golden moment of the challenge. Because I would never thought that it was possible to get a one turn uh, with that setup. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm talking away here. I think it might have been possible if it had been, like, you know, a rookie gutter runner and if he had more players, but with the amount of players he had and with needing three pushes, I'm pretty certain it was completely impossible. <laughs> pretty certain. Yeah. Yeah, he probably needed, like... Uh about 14 players on the pitch to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who are playing that way? All right, well, fuck it, what? <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It might have been possible to have got the if, pushes. If, if, if he had one, uh, one turner, there was a chance, uh, you know. <laughs> he was playing with another race, another game, versus another coach, in another league, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> It might have been possible to get one push. It might be possible to get one push with the players that he had. Maybe. But probably not. No, maybe. Yeah, maybe. He might have been able to get one push. He might have been able to get one push with the players that he had. Which would have been funny. <laughs> what else catches they do have sprint? Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev. Yeah, there, there was like the, there was the chance of a chance, but then as it happened, there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now, at least Veli still has his wizard. And thanks to the babes, he hasn't lost that much. He's still lost a lot, and he's down to 10 players. And he's lost, you know, he's lost his ball carrier, and he's lost another, because he's lost two catches, so two of his most mobile players. So it's, it's pretty terrible, but uh, that's about what you'd expect, isn't it? Yes, yes, it's more or less going as expected. It's not over. <laughs> I'll ban anyone who says it's over. It's not over. <laughs> oh, God. This is horrible. Oh, God. Oh. I don't want to play this. Oh, God. <laughs> in a pickle right now. <laughs> We're in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> I think uh, maybe Hopea is going to try the Daka. <clears throat> But the he... problem is, Crucifer has been is probably one of the players that faces most Dakas in his life. Yeah. It's it's brutal because he's got he's got the stand firms to hold against the Daka, and then he's also got the bulls to chase you down as well. So it's just it's just fucking horrible, isn't it? So it's yeah, bang in and whiz. Bang in and whiz is fine because the problem is just scoring at all against this team, and he's got no guard as well, so he can't even try. Like anything, anything kind of good to do. It's just fucking horrible, isn't it? It's absolutely horrible. Yeah, he could do that mode. Yeah, there is the there is the option of the Dakar and then Wiz Wiz to get through. Would have liked it to have been Wiz and Eldrill. Now, of course, now now it was it's a shame because he was so close to being nil nil, right? And if he'd been nil nil, it'd have been worth the death of these two. But. Uh, you know, if he had Eldrill, then that would make the Daka so much better as well, wouldn't it? Because he could just Wizard and Eldrill in the same turn and get through. That is correct, yes, but uh, Eldrill got sacrificed. He's a 
It's like a wizard of an extra up, only works once. Yeah. Shouldn't be like that, but all the games I watch Elder is very rarely you see Elder finish a game. Yeah, it is, it's true. Yeah, so that's all he had to do, isn't it? He didn't have any card, he just had to do the one day blitz. Gets a cast though. Gets a cast. It isn't no no yeah, Dev, but it gets if it gets you to one one and gets you to overtime and you win the toss, then you've got half a chance, haven't you? Like that's pretty good odds. Getting to overtime with like seven players against this Chorf team is a win, I think. <laughs> uh, yes, especially you still have uh, catches that move eight, so you can, you know, try to push very hard for a two turner. <laughs> Okay. Getting to overtime without your wizard and without Eldril <laughs> and with seven players <laughs> is an achievement against Cruz with this team as well. Like it is, it is, it is Cruz as well. Like you know, that's another thing. It's like yes, the team is great, but also it is Cruz as well. Yeah, I guess. I guess the good thing about the wizard is it just can win you the game, can't it? Whereas like. Getting to overtime, you've still got to win the toss, and then you've still got to bang it in a game. Whereas at least if you just bang it in quickly, and then the whiz gives you the I win condition, which is, you know, it's a shame now that you've expended two two key aspects of the wizard turn, haven't you? Yeah. If it you was just a good down, spending. I mean, it, it yeah. was uh, the chance of uh, finishing nil nil was a seventy percent chance yeah. finishing nil nil. Whereas he could have just laid down, maybe he's taken a lot less attrition, and uh, and then he could be looking at the bang in and whiz. <laughs> That's all the elements of hope turning into diabolical failure. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's hard, isn't it? It's 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 hard to score at all against this Chov team. So that definitely, like that, def well for elves. So that definitely factors into. Uh, to just trying to bang it in quickly, right? Because you're just trying to score at all. <laughs> you're just trying to score at all. Cruz is probably just going to run around and, and shut this basically all down, isn't he? Yes, I think the... Catcher is gonna get hit. Yeah. Yeah, he could. The, the bull could hit the catcher. The bull, he could also just hit the side stepper and then stand in front of the catcher. It'll be interesting to see what he does. He'll probably do the thing with that with the least GFIs, I would imagine. <laughs> He's very, very, very safe. I guess he goes for this blitz, right? And then he keeps this bull away from the other bull. So you definitely don't want both bulls in the same place. You definitely don't want your bulls to touch each other. Love a pile on me. <laughs> I mean, it costs a bit of position, doesn't it? But... So he does go for the. Oh, and it's a wrestle! Oh! Does he put in a reroll here? Maybe. Yeah. No. No, no seven there. Boy, Rowdy. You could just lob it from there at the end zone. Because, like, he might... Yes, he can't dodge off, can he? The problem is, yes, that he could he could do he could hand off to the relay man, but that doesn't even add that much to it. Cause he, oh, I guess this guy can dodge and blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, so he can dodge and blitz. And if you get the pow... Oh, well, maybe this one. Where is he? Oh, yeah, this one. In fact, you can just hand straight off to him. Don't even need a relay, man. You can just hand off straight to this guy. We'll pass to this guy. Wrestle him. 
perfect. I don't even see him on the ground. Yes, he just passed to the passed to this blitzer currently. Yes, and now the the pylon uh, shows the price. Yeah. Oh, Perry Valley raiding. Thanks for the raid. Thank you very much. Yeah, the pond looks pretty terrible now. Yeah. Yeah, not even a relay man. It's just it's just a scoring threat. Of course, if he hadn't won in nine, it would have been fine. The pond, wouldn't it? But I, it's maybe you should reroll the the, the fourth down. And we have a game, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. How wants he? It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Nobody said it's over. <laughs> I'll ban anyone who says it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a rowdy ball sack. <laughs> Some water where they put. Uh, my next round match is against Alma, and it is on um, Monday, seven p.m. Again. <laughs> there is no sun to knock him out. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> Ten L's and a whiz, yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's better than it's better than you would have expected. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably wasn't that terrible, but it was. It was surprising that it wasn't like you know, Cruz is very conservative, very conservative. He's like he's quite Elliotish, isn't he? I think. Oh yeah, PI. PI could have happened. Though Cruz had the no, neither had the fame. I'm back. No, yeah, he's Cruz. He's he's conservative with the plays that he makes, but yeah, he still piles on, doesn't he? Yes, he. Well, I think his mind, Belio Hopea scoring, will give him uh, LOS hits and control of the ball. Yeah, at least if he scores there, he's not stalling, is it? So, like, conceding there isn't that bad. Ooh. So he's not caring about piling on in the in the key stabilization phase, is he? I mean, you've got a pile on every time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Orleans. That's, that's Orleans. You probably. Why don't you make the, the joke without the. Don't, don't make any jokes. That. No jokes, Fimey. No jokes about that. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't think there should be any jokes about that at all. To be honest. Not on my channel. You can do it on other people's channels, but please let's not have even jokes about it. Yeah, that's a good. But he could go hard. Like, that's the thing. Like, imagine he's you know he's maybe Veli's maybe unlucky that he didn't get powered because he could have you know he could uh, Chris could have been down two players then. Like this one turn is is the is when he's weakest, isn't it? You know, like the the stabilization phase. <laughs> yes. Now the wizard uh, is a real danger. Yep. <laughs> Expert in piling on rules. Always pile on. It's a jungle out there, Ray Dev, and you're either piling or you're getting piled. <laughs> the wisest words ever spoken on Fumble. By the wisest man on Fumble. Studman dude, bro. <laughs> Oof. Boy, you rowdy. That is, that is pretty rowdy, isn't it? Yes. This is pretty rowdy. We could see it. We could see something here. Like, you've got a wrestler to hit this guy. 
You've got a hit here. You've got an uphill pal there against Dan Firm. That's looking a pretty good option. <laughs> oh, dear. Not really. Could blitz this guy and try and and try and uh, get the whole the team back. here. Yes. Yeah. And separate four. separate those four uh, chores from the rest of the team. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's maybe an idea. Get in here. It's tight, but I mean, it's 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 just a hard spot for Veli, isn't it? Who knows what the right play is, or how to do it? Well, will he best prove that he likes to take risks? Yeah, he's at least got that guy there. Problem is, of course, you've got to power him and he stand firm, and it's just, it's just still completely horrible. No, he's not even doing it. Just squeezing him on the sideline. That's that's fair enough. That's a lot more likely to have re positive results, isn't it? Yes. This is probably higher risk, higher reward. Arguably higher reward. Problem now is he keeps the catcher there. That catcher is very exposed to a hit. Yeah, there's no way he can really. He's got to rely on this dodge to to shield. He's got to bring him back. Put maybe this blitzer up. No, this this line or there, and then have these two guys exposed. Screen the catchers and dodge him out. It's pretty rough. Well, he's he's just leaving him exposed. I guess it's a bit of a it's a bit of a trap space actually if you do blitz him. Like it's a bit of a trap, isn't it? Because you've got to come in with your ball, and then it's not that bad. Cruz has only just got Kekudi. If it goes to kicks, that will be a win for Veli. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of moral victory at least even if he loses on kicks <laughs> if he can get it at kicks I'd be very surprised also just because you'd imagine elves would be more likely to counter score than, than than just stop it right now there is two obvious targets the blotch stepper or the wrestle uh, gotcha Yeah, I, I like just hitting this guy, and then just shoring it all up, and then reconnecting him next turn. I guess maybe hit the bloodstepper because he's the chance he scores. So I guess you could you could maybe just hit the bloodstepper and, and then go up there, but I, I kind of like hitting this guy. With that tag, maybe he is hitting the blood stepper. Yeah. No? No, oh, oh. he's hitting that guy. Instant removal. Down at eight for the high elves. This is a bit rowdy ball placement. Are we going to see the big fireball? A chance of that, yes. I mean, these are two. You know, he can he can hit these four or these four. And these are two huge players, and these are three huge players. He's got a hit there on him if he if he goes down. So maybe he'll go for these four, and then he's got the scoring threat. So yeah, maybe these four. Maybe it's worth it. You're not probably not going to get a better chance. So I, I guess you've got to go for it. Hello, Penamu. I don't think it's bait. I don't think it's a trap. I don't think it's a trap. Thing. I think you're just not going to get a better chance, so you probably go for it. I think yeah, I think you have to go for it. In fact, the more I think about it, 
the more I think you have to fireball these for. Yes, that's so the two ball carriers there. Armor seven, two ball carriers, juicy targets, and you already have uh, players in the area. You have the catcher, you have blodger. At least he's taking his time to think about it anyway, because like it's obviously a massive, massive turn. Also, the blitzer uh, with side step is not on tackle. He can yeah. use dodge. Yeah. He doesn't go for it. Well, I think that may be a mistake. I think that may be a mistake. I think that was the turn. I think if that was a bait, it was a bad decision from Bruce. <laughs> I think he was just trying to get forward. I don't think uh, I don't think Cruz do bait. No, I don't. I don't think he believes in that concept. No. Yeah. Yeah, but are you going to get better, Wolf? That's it. Like that's the thing, isn't it? Is are you going to get better? Oh, and now, oh God, what a pickle! <laughs> <laughs> it's not over the though. Question, it's not the, over. The, the question, you know, is that bait? I mean, just think about the chances of it work. Yeah. You need to take it down at least uh, three players with a fireball. Yeah, I just, get I just a think, nice scatter. I just think he's not getting better. That's that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess that you know, oh, this is bait by Crucifer. Uh, what a horrible bait because the chances <laughs> yeah. were you know you know like oh yeah this you know just bolt and it's done or something like that it's like okay i need to be really lucky with the with the fireball really lucky with the scatter it is a little bit early but you know it's it's not that early right you, and if he got it to him and he gets it he gets away then that's another turn of stall just by himself and he still has time, you know, he can use the wizard in the last turn, try to avoid the score and go to overtime. I think the wizard is his best card for overtime. Yeah. Cheeky surf. I think you should have whizzed because I think it's only getting worse. It was it was a really good it was a, a really good fireball. Yeah. Way, no more Kekudi. Kekudi is even. <laughs> Yeah, there were lots of options. There were lots of options depending on how well the fireball went, wasn't there? Basically, like. Yes, no, no, I'm not going against the argument that the fireball was good. I think the fireball was good. What they disagree is with the concept that it was bait by Crucifer. Yeah, no, I don't think it was bait by Chris, but yeah, like it was a dev saying you could have got two players and screened. Like you could have gone for these four as well, which would have, like been kind of worse. The four that were on this side, but then you would have beat these guys would be more relevant to like be greedier. So like there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of pros to wizarding and i just don't i just don't see how it gets better than that turn basically like you're not stopping this without the wizard are you <laughs> you know it, it's five elves you know versus <laughs> yeah. the whole uh, charge team it's like uh, i mean sad days yeah And yes, 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 uh, getting losing a player each turn is uh, really rough, but it's what it is, unfortunately for Veli Hopea. And I love high elves. Bold. I'd still rather fireball. I would just always fireball this game. Well, not always, obviously, if there was a golden opportunity to bolt. I would just fireball just because I feel like you've got to get so lucky that you might as well go all in, you know? I mean, you bolt here and 
You need to get really lucky with that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this pull. I would, I would definitely fireball just because I feel like you're so far behind. You need, you need a fireball from the gods. Yeah, I would fireball here. Five players. This is more bait because there's five players here, but I would still do it. Again, you're just not getting a better chance, so just go for it. I don't think he is, no, I don't. It was, all, it was base last turn, and you could have fireballed him where it was base last turn as well. It's more base now, but it just doesn't make that much difference. Yes, the, the cage is base, but there are uh, base in the cage, and there is base in the cage. Yeah, yeah. I think you still you've got to go for it again. I think I think he had to go for it last turn. I think he's got to go for it again. Like I just think it's it's only equity is only equity is only slipping away, isn't it? Each turn, yeah, each turn. You need to be aggressive and you need to high roll. Yeah, I think so. The same way he did it with the play on the first half to throw the ball away, he has to you know catch the spirit again. Yeah. And be brave. At least go in a place of glory. Because yeah. being too conservative with the wizard here, at some point you don't have players left. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, Dev, yeah, yeah. Yes, Nuclear exactly, you know, there, there, there is, ah, there you go, there you go, and... Pretty nuclear whiz, pretty it's nuclear a, whiz. It's very nuclear. <laughs> he can't get, he can only get a one day on the ball, but, um, you know... That's good, and he could get he could get a really good scatter as well, couldn't he? he this guy could what come one, two, three, four, five, six, G five, G five. That's a bit horrible. Yes. That's a maybe the blitzer with a step mm. has a better shot. But then, but then he's your outlet, isn't he? So going with a catcher. Just a two plus to get one dice. I guess you could put him in and then one day, oh god, yeah, he's rolled one instantly. Mandatory roll. He doesn't have to be your outlet, but he is your outlet, isn't he? Get the pow. <laughs> Go to a good, uh, that's the. Can be a great square for the elves. Oh, that was so unlucky! He got the perfect scatter on the oh first one. And it could have gone green. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yuck. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad, the wall of bodies. That's so flipping bad. Now he's probably got to use this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lob it to him. Hand it off to him. Run away screen. Lots of dice with no reroll. You can just jump over the bodies. <laughs> Not yet, Wolf Not it's yet. It's two plus, three plus. Two plus to go with the catcher, the dodge catcher. Yes. Not that way. Yes, go. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I think this is the player to come in with a blood stepper. But then at least you've got like a blood stepper around the ball, right? If it if it fails as well, which it did. You know, he could have, he could have done something. Yes. Oh man. He did it. Billy Hope I did the right play. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I think he. I think he did the right thing. Maybe the, the, the blood stepper should have done the blitz, you know, because if the blood stepper does the blitz, yeah, okay, he is, he is your outlet, but, um, and I did like him being the outlet, just the fact he could outrun the bulls, whereas the catcher couldn't really. Yeah, it was really unlucky to roll one, like, yeah, I mean, you had to roll, like, two two pluses, then a four plus, so it wasn't, it wasn't easy, was it? But, yeah, using the reel on the first one really, really uh, makes you feel bad. Maybe you had to roll three two pluses. Yeah, you had to roll three two pluses and a four plus, so you know it didn't have good odds, did it? I don't know. I'd want that guy downfield as well, though. You know, I'd, I'd want, I'd want, ideally, I'd want this guy over here and this guy down here, right? So that you've got both. I think Veli dropped the early GG. I think he lived on it at the start of the fucking match. <laughs> In the loading screen. Yeah. 
Lost equity if he didn't pre-game GG. <laughs> She just said, Hello, Cruz. Good luck in the next round, mate. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll chip someone to help Jim. <laughs> That's what he should have said. <laughs> of course, I'll, I may well lose to Alma. I'm not disrespecting Alma there. It was just, you know, I had to say it. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, yes, yes, in there. <laughs> when you shoot in the game, it's like, good, uh, GG. <laughs> and he's not getting the ball this turn, is he? Uh, not without dice. And the ball's on the ground against elves. Oh, oh no, there's this guy's free. There's okay. this guy, the, the wrestler, of friends there. Yeah. But still, the ball and the wrestler against elves. There's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. He's got four standing elves. They're all on the wrong side of the ball. No, five standing elves. But he's got a chance. All he needs is a chip and a chair. And now using even the body, so the fallen chorps. <laughs> well, he has a, an elf there. He can, uh, you know. Yeah, if you can move someone in, make it a two dice uphill. It's a shame that it's a three dice at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but he could move. Oh god, he's just taken the three dice uphill and re-rolled it. Oh. I think okay. that's officially Billy Hobbes saying GG, uh, proper GG. To be fair, I mean, to be fair, that probably gave you the best chance, right? Like, if if you yes. if you if you cost if you expend somebody making it a two D uphill, then that's one less player to react to. Right? But I think I would have still made it. If, if he got a push there, at least a push, he could have moved, you know, the hobo. And the hobo had a wrestle. Yeah. So a push or a both down gives you, you know, some option. Mm. Um, yes, just fucking around. Lots of them are worth, worth a watch. You should go to the YouTube and you should watch lots of them. <laughs> there has been a good games, yes. Very interesting games. Mostly all of the, the Richard overtime uh, ended being very interesting overtimes. Yeah. yeah, there's been there's been a lot of good games. Uh, Pwnbots was good. Daedles was good. Dorse versus Chaos was hilarious. Like there was like, it was it was fun. It was funny. It was a horrible match to watch, but it was hilarious. It was really funny. It was pure comedy. Dorse <laughs> yeah. no, versus Chaos is pure comedy. I mean. Uh... <laughs> Nose versus the, Augers, yeah, the love affair between an Augur and a Yeti. <laughs> the, and the, the, the Halflings versus the Lizard, uh, man, in the first round, that's also a good game to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enzo, hello. Oh dear, that match. There's, there's about five comments on the YouTube about trench warfare. <laughs> It was pretty funny. It was a pretty funny game. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yoga love affair. Yeah, that was that was that was one of the highlights for sure. It was weird because the Diamond game seemed seemed crazy. Uh... Seemed crazy live. It seemed like Diamond had like totally threw it. But then watching the replay, it didn't. It didn't seem that bad. It's funny, isn't it? Like the perspective you get while it's going on, compared to like a fresh pair of eyes. Because it was when uh, the other uh, didn't uh, choose to not defend for sixteen turns. Yeah, yeah, but it actually didn't seem that bad w watching it back. Like it still, some things were still bad, but it, it didn't seem anywhere near as bad as it did live. Go. Wizard's gone, and with it, Valley's hopes. <laughs> Isn't it, basically? He could even full meat cube this. Oh, well, he can't now, because he's, he's, he's right on the edge. He's just going to wall. Is, is he going to build a wall? The high elves are going to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, he can just, he'll, he'll build a wall, rather. Oh, well, he's only going to... In fact, with Billy Hopea only having a... 
one down left, you could even consider score. Oh no, wait, wait. The riot, the riot could uh, miss uh, everything. Yeah, better stall. That's bad, isn't it? Sh shouldn't this guy have been here so you'd have had to have gone all the way around? Like, this is actually a chance. Like, not a good one, but there's actually a chance instead of there just not go. being a chance. Here we go, lads! Get in, skulls. <laughs> and Kaz is himself. Kaz is himself. <laughs> Find the SPP blade for the Thought Goblin. <laughs> Using perfect use of the trap space there, you know. <laughs> oh dear. And oh, that's it. Uh, congratulations, Crucifer, for winning. Congratulations, Billy Hopea, for uh, getting absolutely the most of uh, what he was given. Yeah. Really good place by Billy Hopea. Never gave up. He, he knew he had to be really lucky. <laughs> yeah, and he, he, it was really cool, the, the, the punt that nearly got him in at half-time. And, uh, you know, obviously and he didn't want to use the wizard, did he? But, like, he waited as long as he could to pull the trigger. And, uh, and here is the story of the game. 23 armor breaks versus two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Didn't even, didn't even miss next game anybody, did he? That was... Uh, he did nothing. He did nothing. But never mind. And, and if you are uh, wondering where those two armor breaks came, one of them came from the wizard. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> or both of them. No, maybe it was, both. Uh, maybe both. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brutal. I really hope I'm uh, sorry to, soon, uh, to see you lose, but you make some very interesting plays. Very good uh, high elf play in there. I love it. Yeah, the punt one was pretty cool. The punt play was pretty cool, and uh, yeah, well done. Well, well done. Good effort. Obviously, it was a almost insurmountable task. Um, congratulations, Cruz. Thank you very much, Fanny. Absolutely glorious of you to come and join me. Thank you very much. Uh, no worries. Always a pleasure. Glorious. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.